The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee, an abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one, the only one who could decipher his secret messages, what lengths would you go to save the object of your obsession in Night Springs? Tonight's cult classic episode, number one fan. Life's a funny thing. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something, and then, bam! Destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. <sighs> but <laughs> that's okay. When your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany-colored velvet, you don't really mind how it arrives. day didn't start off with all that excitement. It began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of Night Springs. As always, Night's Diner was the hottest spot in town, so there was plenty of work to do. Hey, it's everyone's favorite waitress! Look who it is! Hi, everyone! Could I get another cup of that delicious special brew that only you know how to make? Of course. Who else wants a top up? Me. Right here, please. One for me, please, and thank you. Another cup. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that writer of yours. You two are destined for each other. Hot coffee. I heard your fan site for that rider was named best fan site in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. It wasn't easy. Here you go. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh, I don't mind. Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner? Your bird sanctuary. And that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much. That's everyone's coffee. Better put this pot back. I loved being the very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. But that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent and flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. Pie! I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables. Shucks! My date last night was a total bust. You're the expert on romance. Any advice? Uh, yes. But first, tell me everything. Long story short, she told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. But it's what's inside that matters, right? Right. Show them the real you and it will all work out. Talk about that mole you worry about when you're trying to fall asleep. Well, I'll try that. Thanks a million. <laughs> Don't mention it.
Is Knott's Diner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course. We're gonna make this our 20th win in a row. Those plates won't clear themselves. I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. Amazing. Thanks. Those yoga lessons really paid off. The writer lives just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> oh, we have our own ways of talking. What can I get you? Oh. <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. After all, you're the town's literature buff. <gasps> oh, you have got to read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. <sighs> I'll grab you a copy from the back. I better take these plates back to the service window. No time for that. I've got customers waiting. any pages. It's me, your favorite writer whose voice you would recognize in your sleep. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan, you're the only one who can save me. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't worry. I'm on my way. My beloved writer was in terrible danger, and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. Luckily, I kept all my accessories in the diner's kit. My accessories. Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. My bolt-action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly. And looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me. My trusty 12-gauge. Fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. I was finally ready for a night out on the town. With danger. The boatyard is this way! You better hurry! Go through the boatyard! It's the shortest route! was my moment, my chance to save the writer and make him realize how much he needed me. And if that's not love, I don't know what is. Run the diner while you're gone, or we'll be way worse at it. Tell him we all love his books. You've got to save literature. Oh, you're the only one tough and graceful enough to save. I was leaving my old life behind left to sink in a lake so no one finds it. Nothing would get between me and my future with the writer. less handsome version of my writer. Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. After today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. His brother! I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common, and after you change, you can move in together. And I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights! He had his chance for popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for himself. Too bad. You know what they say? 
You can't join him? Beat him. What did you do to him? I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this! I'll stop you! Babe, I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die if it stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? I have a shotgun! Well, I got a... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? Okay, I admit, that's a... I didn't expect that. <clears throat> But it doesn't matter. You can't stop all of us. If only our monster could be blind to the brilliance of my life's books. There's only one way to deal with monsters. from my writer's books, solving the case with my wits. All I needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused by the untimely death of my spouse.
my writer ever told me he had a semi-evil twin brother. He must be waiting until our third or fourth date, surrounded by candles, so he could reveal this vulnerable chapter from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled past. The motorcycle tracks ended at a cabin. Was my writer inside? tricks Ooh, you're starting to peeve me off mister where is my writer i'm just having a little fun let's chat down at the beach it's just out the back first he kidnaps my writer then he calls him a tea drinker he had crossed the line i was going to go to that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime said he was down at the beach. Hey, me and my bike were just enjoying the view. Where is my rider? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd. Hush your mouth! He is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. <sighs> what did he ever do to you? I, uh, already told you that? At the boatyard? I feel overshadowed by success, like he's taking everything I can compete. Oh, right. I remember now. It's a self-confidence thing. Uh, wh well, it's a bit more complicated than that. You are going to tell me where he is, or else. Or else what, babe? You asked for it. You're rude, you have no manners, your too-cool-to-care attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. You... No, stop! I don't like being seen! Listen, I never had your precious writer. I was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms his mansion. Now the love of your life is doomed. Doomed! <laughs> no! Even with my famously keen perception. My number one fan. 
would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise. And just as fiery. But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. I believe in you. My writer believed in me. We were kindred spirits. We fit together like a bicycle chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into. We were connected by love and destiny. He was meant to be mine, always and forever. There was no time to lose. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. The fate of all art rested on my shoulders. The stakes had never been higher. If I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. <laughs>
going to kill you? You're my darling writer's brother. You really do love him, huh? I guess I never even had a chance. I was just jealous of his talent, his money, his velvety hair, but mostly that he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. Oh, you silly werewolf. You could have all those things too. You just need to stop wanting to be him, and start wanting to be you. Your words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart, and it's all my fault. Please, go save him. Oh, I intend to.
my weapon. isn't going to kiss himself. I mean, save himself. And there he was. After all the fighting, we were finally alone. Together. Our love was written in the stars. And so we danced like two spinning planets that would eventually crash into each other in a dazzling display of flames and rocks and other planet stuff. He told me all the sweet things I'd been waiting a lifetime to hear. I saw myself reflected in his eyes. I would always be at his side. To inspire and protect him. He needed me, now and forever. After all, I am his number one fan. A fan and the object of her joy come together against the world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending for some. But is happiness like beauty all in the eye of the beholder? Where is the line between fandom and fixation? One can never tell in Night Springs. to save a missing loved one. Desperately trying to stay one step ahead of the shadowy government agents hunting her. Agents from the very same agency that took the only person she cares about. On her quest, she is guided by her mysterious alien guardian angel. Her guiding star shows her the way, as it always has. She does not know what strangeness awaits her as she follows its unwavering light to the small town of Night Springs. Tonight's dreamlike episode, North Star. This is gonna get strange. There's no helping it. The universe is much deeper and weirder than people know. My brother and I know. We've seen it. We've seen you. But there are some people 
An agency that doesn't want anyone knowing more than what they see. That's why they took my brother and have been chasing me my whole life. But I can't keep running. I've never been able to track down the government agency that took my brother. Until now. You helped me find this place. Now you'll help me get him back. Right. Hello? Is anybody here? A roasting bar. This place really makes me want a coffee. But I guess that's the point. Why does an amusement park need a welcome center? No tape. I don't have time to sit around watching movies anyway. the light. Oh, they don't like the light. You shouldn't be here. How did you even get inside? Shit. A cop. Should I lie? I kind of let myself in. You got more than you bargained for, huh? I'm looking for someone. My brother. Have you seen anybody? Well, only if you count those monsters. I'm sorry, ma'am. They've been abducting people from Night Springs, too. I'm here to get them back home. But now it's time you left. It's not safe here. I'm not going anywhere until I find my brother. I respect that. There's a warehouse just past the park. It's locked up tight, has some fancy government security system, but the intercom is busted. I figure that's where they're keeping our missing folks. There's a, a spare pistol and flashlight on the bench. I'd feel better if you took them. Those monsters don't do well with light. And whatever you do, do not drink the coffee. This should make things easier.
Let's check out that warehouse the sheriff mentioned. You still with me? Good to hear. Hi, uh, I need to get inside. Please Sorry, I lost it. question is that? We need to find that orientation video.
A tasting room? Sheriff said not to drink this stuff. Glad to see you're okay. The security system wants some kind of password to get into the warehouse. So you got it working. I wonder why it wouldn't turn on for me. What did it ask for, exactly? It asked for the fourth word of the Dark Triangle Coffee mission statement. Any idea what that is? Of course, it wants you to watch the video. The info you're after is on a videotape. But it is chock full of government brainwashing. I watched a bit of it. It was doing something to me. It's dangerous. You can't watch that tape. I need that videotape, Sheriff. Well, this is exactly how they get you. But fine. If you really want it, I hit it in the Ferris wheel, cup number four. You'll need this key. Don't say, I didn't warn you.
you up for a movie? Dark Triangle Coffee is a fast-growing company with ambitions to sweep the nation, and eventually, the globe. With our out-of-this-world beverages. Drawn by our coffee's distinctive flavor and our unique beans, people are rushing to join the Dark Triangle Movement. The company's mission statement is simple. To drink the truth there. is to be that's what we need. One. The password Our is truth. And spiritual growth now we can move away. Hey, what is... Humanity. Something is... Something is... Oh, in my head! Please, you need to... what we needed. The fourth word of the mission statement. Truth. Let's get back to that warehouse. That video was doing something to me. If you hadn't been there, what would have happened? What is this agency trying to do here? Control people? But why? What's their plan? What if my brother has already been... No. I didn't come all this way to lose him now. Truth. One hundred and eighty? Fucking barista. I bet I can find the temperature I need at that roasting bar. The optimal roasting temperature. You don't have to know. Do you? I've loitered in enough coffee shops to recognize a roasting machine. Let's check this out. Okay, so the temperature is higher than whatever this is.
This is like being back in school. Prime. Prime... what? Prime number? Think that worked? 487. Who knew geometry would actually come in handy? Four hundred and eighty-seven. That is correct. Further verification required. Oh, come on! Try the coffee. I tried the coffee. Worth a shot. Try the coffee. Try the That's coffee. gonna be a problem. But I can't stop now. You'll keep me safe. Right? Trusting you. Huh. That wasn't so. <gasps> Gunshots. Yeah, no, I'm fine. 
I was looking for you when one of those things jumped me. Got a little bit of coffee in my mouth, but I spit it out. Should be fine. But listen, I figured something out. What did you figure out? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. Those government bastards will never get me. <laughs> but it, it's not just the government. There's something else here. I, I, I don't know what it is, but it's... You need to get your brother and get out of here as soon as you can. Promise me. Yeah. I promise, Sheriff. Good. That's good. I'm just gonna catch my breath here a minute. I'm... Tried the coffee. People out or in? Finally, let's get back to that door. Sheriff, how'd you get in here? Coffee time is family time. It's the, it's best, the best part, part of the day. Of the day. Conspiracy within the conspiracy. How can one expose a lie when the truth exists beyond our wildest imagination? Who can ever truly know how deep the rabbit hole goes in the night springs?
We often look back and wonder, what if? What if the path not taken had in fact been our charted course? Would we be happier? Or are we, with our set of choices behind us, the lucky ones? And what if nothing would be different? What if for some of us, our destiny across the endless number of versions of ourselves has been defined and locked beyond any causality of circumstance, beyond the forces in any one reality, but across all realities? For one man, the magnetic pull of destiny is so great it breaks time and space. We join this lone operative, many versions of him, in fact, as he chases his nemesis, a dangerous being known as the master of many worlds, across the multiverse, across the many versions of a city that is always the same, yet always different, in Night Springs. Tonight's reality-bending episode, Timebreaker. How many parallel realities I need to brave? How many lives? How many versions of me it takes? I will stop it. And I will come back for you. My love. And cut. Everyone, take five. Was that okay? I mean, I can do more. I can do less. Yes, yes, yes. Sean, I'm really happy. Let's talk. I love your instinct on this, but we can still push this further. Immerse ourselves into this story. Believe in it. Make it crazier, wilder. Ba -ba -ba -ba. You wanted to talk? It's awesome to be doing this with you again, Sam. Sean, it's so good to have you back. We've been dreaming about this for so long, and now, finally, we are making Time Breaker, the video game. It's happening. Yeah, and FMV as well. That's so cool. Of course. That was part of the previous game as well. I'd like to talk about my character, just get deeper into the lore. Hey, I could talk about this for days. He's a multiversal agent, goes by many names as there are many versions of him. Breaker, Branch, others. He is searching for his lost love while his ruthless nemesis, Dor, the master of many worlds, is murdering versions of him across parallel realities. He must track down and stop Dor. That's so cool. You've done cool superhero roles in the past. Long term, the agent will grow into the ultimate iconic superhero. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So the Vortex and the Gadget, I'm, sorry, I keep forgetting its name. There's, there's just so many acronyms here, but it helps me travel through realities. Acronyms are cool, right? Like tiny mysteries. You power up your PRS, polyhedron reality shifter with a SEN shifter energy node to activate a LumiVista TV and ride the Vortex between realities. It's all REC, Ripple Effect Corporation Tech. And you have a gun and a TPS, Time Breaker Solidifier, to defend yourself. <laughs> right, yeah. You clearly have your own vision um, of the multiverse. The right vision, the truth, it's all out there. That's where these ideas and inspirations come from. They seep through. Somewhere, this here, us talking, is part of the video game, and another version of you is playing it. Somewhere, your character 
the agent is real and he could appear here through a portal any time now. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, Sam. <laughs> you are a maniac, man, totally. Okay. So, um, what do we shoot next? We need to set up for the next scene where your nemesis pulls you into a parallel reality. You can go to your green room, chill out, learn the lines. I left the latest draft of the screenplay for you there. See you in a bit. Cool. Can't wait. Sometimes it's hard to tell if Sam's joking. That deadpan Finnish humor. And a reputation of being a bit out there. I picked up a weird vibe when he talked about the multiverse. No! This is your end. What the fuck was that? Hello? What the fuck is this? I thought I'd gone mad. Then I realized Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. There's no way this was real. Huh? What is this? I had to admire how real the body and the props looked. So we got another one of you, huh? Do it again. Excuse me? <laughs> no, th this is just, it's a prank. It's just a prank. Wait, are you? Shit. You're not Branch. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you cast in this game, too? Listen to me. There are things you need to know. You are in great danger. You must do exactly what I tell you. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I blanked out, and I was suddenly someplace else. I'd had gaps in my memory before, but that's the movie star lifestyle for you. This was something else entirely. The last thing I remembered was the red-headed woman at the door. She looked familiar. She was trying to tell me something, and then it went dark. It felt like a dream. Think, 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 man. I need to get out of here. A psychotic episode? Or was the multiverse true after all? Did Sam do this? An elaborate hoax? Off the wall method acting reality show? It had gone way too far. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Act like this is true. Okay? I'm an actor. I can do this. And once it's over, we'll have a good laugh. And then I will punch Sam in the face. <laughs> but what had Sam said? I needed find an energy node and use this rod thing with it, the PRS, was it? And look for some kind of TV to get the hell out of here. No, no, no. Door's coming. He knows where I am. Oh, no, who's that? He's coming. He knows about the trailer. I need to hide the energy. I need to get it away from the trailer. Away from the TV. Oh, God! No! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I wasn't certain this was a prank anymore. I heard a voice in my head. It sounded like me. Insanely, I heard the thoughts of another version of me. The one living here. The trailer was his. I'd check it out. Don't think. Just act.
Dome Vista TV. According to what Sam had said, I needed the energy dome. The other me had hit away from this tree. theories about the multiverse and Tor, the master of many worlds. The energy node was out there in the forest somewhere. I was wasting time. I had to go look for it. sit in the energy node at the creek in the forest. I have to find it. to get back to the trailer. showed the way. They'd guide me through to get what I needed.
way back to the TV. When I used the TV to travel between realities, I was thinking of Dor. And the Vortex brought me here, where the Time Breakers attacked me. find the right version of the lobby in the right time when what I needed was there. This time, a different one. She knew. snapshots on a sequential path. And yet, thoughts flowing free, like text read out loud. It's, it's you. I made it. Dor pulled you away. Thought you were gone, for sure. I focused on you when I entered the Vortex. I, I was trying to reach you. You are full of surprises. Okay. Let's try this out. Welcome to the headquarters of the Ripple Effect Corporation. We were making a video game of the multiverse, but now it's suddenly real? Real and not real exist side by side in the multiverse. Echoes flow through it like currents in a cosmic ocean, the sea of night. Conceptual, fictional, real, more real than real. Many versions of us all in hidden interaction, linked by the energies that ripple through realities. One of you is killed in an explosion of dangerous energy, and another one instead gains superpowers. And yet another one meets an alien guardian angel. In one reality, we're not even real. Or as you say, characters in a video game. Why is he after me? Who is Dor? There are legends about him going back further than we can trace. They say he found an opening to a horrifying parallel reality that consumed him, gave him access to all realities. The feedback loop killing all other versions of him. I am on the... 
threshold. No, no. We don't know why, but he sees the versions of you as a threat. He's killing them, bringing them back as time breakers. We thought he was after Branch. Now I'm thinking he's been after you. Turn your lives. Play the part. The master of many worlds. We came through the What can I do? He must be stopped. He leaves dead realities in his way, and he is only picking up speed. I'm just an actor. You could have fooled me. You travel through realities with greater accuracy than anyone I've ever seen. Beyond door, even. You picked it up just like that. Finding the place that made him may be the key to killing him. That was our theory. But we could never find it. Maybe you can. Was there something between you and Branch? What you think you are feeling is just an echo. Some other version of us in some other lifetime. Maybe... You'll come back for me? <laughs> Maybe. Wish me luck. Luck is just an echo of an event carried over from another reality. I was an REC agent. This was my mission now. I focused on him. The darkness, the entropy, Dor, the master of many worlds.
very edge of the multiverse. Or some deep, dark trench in it. Everything sucked dry of color and energy. I had to find Thor, or the means to travel on. You should not be there. You may <laughs> We have witnessed a case of mistaken identity. But in the vastness of the multiverse, with an endless number of versions of ourselves, what is identity anyway? Can there be more than one master of many worlds? Or did our hero take a wrong turn somewhere along the way? Was this particular journey precisely what was needed to make him the one he was meant to become? One thing is certain. I I am your host, the one and only Warland Door, and this is...
Light Springs. Chasing the murder cult made me feel like I was caught in a loop. Every time I thought I was getting closer, things shifted around, and I realized I was further away than ever before. Instead of answers, I only got more questions. The name of the cult and the masks they wore kept changing. The deeper into the dark depths I got, peeling off the layers of this case, like the ocean zones from twilight to midnight to abyssal to the deepest trenches, the closer I felt to going mad.